can positive thinking change your genetic code hello champions i'm dr meghna dikshit author of you matter and i'm so excited to welcome you to our channel here we dive deep into the limitless potential of your mind and brain together we unlock the secrets to success help you heal from the past and prepare for an extraordinary future if you are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the tools and insights you need to thrive for my committed subscribers welcome back your journey to mastering your mind and living your best life continues here and if you are ready to unleash your brain's potential type dive in in the chat box right now and let's take this journey forward there are two ways i can help you achieve more we have included two valuable links in the caption below One is to join my live seminar, learn how to train your brain and unlock your full potential, and second is to get my book You Matter, start your personal growth journey with me today. Some time ago, I read this article and I found it very inspiring. The article mentioned a study conducted to map the connection between how people perceive aging and dementia. One of the strongest risk factors for dementia is the E4 variant of the EPOE gene. That does not mean that all the people who carry this gene variant will get dementia. The study followed 4750 people aged 60 and above. It was noted that among the total people who carried this gene, those who had a positive attitude towards aging, who took changes in life positively, were 49.8% less likely to develop dementia than those people who were constantly worried about getting old and carried negative beliefs isn't this interesting think about that having more positive thoughts about aging could decrease the risk of dementia by almost half today science is showing us that our thoughts have the power to influence not only our mood and mindset but also our genes Are you ready to dive deep into something truly incredible and groundbreaking? The connection between positive thinking and your genetic makeup. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's very real. Thanks to field of epigenetics, we are learning how our thoughts, beliefs and emotions can switch genes on and off. So my dear listeners, get ready to learn. If you're ready, type learn in the chat box. What is epigenetics? Let's start by understanding the science behind this. Epigenetics is the study of how our behaviors and environment can cause changes that affect the way our genes work. It's not about changing your DNA sequence, your genes remain the same, but rather about switching certain genes on or off, which can influence how your body functions. Think of your DNA like the hardware in a computer and your thoughts, emotions and environment like the software. The software doesn't change the hardware, but it can influence how the hardware operates. And that's where positive thinking comes in. By thinking positively and reducing stress, you can activate certain genes that can promote health and well-being. and deactivate those that contribute to illness and stress research has shown that your emotional state can directly affect your gene expression when you are stressed anxious or filled with negative emotions your body produces cortisol a stress hormone that can switch on genes associated with inflammation disease and fast aging but when you engage in positive thinking whether through gratitude affirmations or just focusing on good things happening in your life you release chemicals like dopamine and serotonin these chemicals help to turn on genes that support immune function lower inflammation and improve overall health your thoughts are more powerful than you think they are they can literally change the way your genes behave proof of mind over body One of the most well-known examples of the power of positive thinking is the placebo effect. This is when people experience real health improvements after taking a treatment that has no active ingredients just because they believe it's helping them. 
Studies have shown that belief alone can influence gene expression and trigger the body's natural healing process. This is concrete proof that your thoughts can shape your reality, even down to the level of your DNA. If belief can do that, imagine the long-term effects of consistently practicing positive thinking in your everyday life. One excellent example from our epic Mahabharat is the story of Karna. Karna was actually the child of sun god and grew up into a brilliant warrior. However, he believed that he was always at a disadvantage because of the family into which he was born. This belief marred his thinking and leading him to make different choices that led to his untimely death. What we believe is true and it becomes our reality. How to use then positive thinking to reprogram our genes? So here are three powerful ways I'm sharing with you that can turn on your positive thinking to change your genetic code and improve your life. So first way is daily gratitude practice. Start by practicing gratitude daily. Research has shown that consistently focusing on what you are grateful for can activate genes that reduce inflammation and promote well-being. Write down five things you are thankful for every morning to set a positive tone for the day. There was a time in my life where I would think, what am I grateful for? What can I be grateful for when my life is a mess? But my teacher gently shifted my view. Even when I was thinking that my life was a mess, I had food on the table. I had 24 hours electricity and water. There was somebody to take care of the daily cleaning and washing in the house. We have a lot to be grateful for. And I suggest that you watch my video on gratitude and make a note of how to write gratitude. Second powerful way is affirmations and positive self-talk. These are powerful tools that can rewire your mind and your genes. When you repeat phrases like, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm capable, or I'm worthy of love and success, you're not just changing your mindset, you're influencing your genetic expression to support those beliefs. Start by choosing three affirmations that you resonate with daily. You can even write those affirmations in your journal. Third powerful way is meditation and visualization. Meditation helps calm your mind and reduce stress, which has a direct impact on gene expression. Studies show that people who meditate regularly have longer telomeres, the protective caps on the ends of DNA that are linked to longer lives and better health. Visualization is another powerful tool. Imagine your body in perfect health or visualize achieving your goals. This mental imagery can help your genes align with the reality you want to create. Of course, staying positive isn't always easy, especially when life is getting tougher. We all face challenges, setbacks and emotional struggles that make it hard to maintain a positive mindset. But remember, it's not about being positive 100% of the time. The goal is to shift your mindset gradually. So how do you do that? Mindfulness is a great way to stay present and recognize when you're slipping into negative thought patterns. Practicing mindfulness is a skill that can be developed. Take the simple activity of eating a meal. When you sit to eat, make sure that your phone is kept away. The television is shut and laptop is closed. While eating, let there be no distractions. Just focus on the food. It is said that the food is first consumed through the eyes. So gaze at the food in your plate and relish every morsel that you eat. This is mindfulness. When you're going through your daily chores, bringing your attention to that one task at a time. Tip 2. Surround yourself with positivity. When you surround yourself with positive influences, whether that is uplifting content supportive people or an environment that makes you feel good. Your environment can have a huge impact on your mindset, which in turn influences your gene expression. Tip 3 is to celebrate small wins. Finally celebrate those small little victories. Positive change happens gradually. Take a moment to acknowledge your progress, 
even if it feels small. Each step forward is a step toward reprogramming your genes for success. By practicing positive thinking, you can influence your genes and change the trajectory of your health, happiness and success. It's time to take control of your mind and your body starting today. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with someone who needs to hear this message. There are two ways I can help you in this journey. We have included two very important links in the caption below. First is to join my live seminar and learn how to train your brain and unlock your full potential to achieve all your goals. Second is to get my book You Matter and start your personal growth journey with me today. Until then, next time.